Hey human Latiosites, this is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle! So, let us begin! Last time, we started getting through the Pedro Valley a little bit more. Let's sign in and just, just check for whatever we gotta do. Just checking in. Checking to see what is up, and what is up is extra data once again! More DLC coming our way. So, extra data is being added, so let's see what is up. So, let that extra data load for a few seconds, perhaps. We'll, we'll see what, what happens. Extra data is added. That is awesome! So, Let's see what we got. We should get 500 coins, and that's always nice. So with that, we're gonna get 500 coins. And daily Pokemon are here. So, and the competition now live. Mega Lucario seems is back. Huh, interesting. Interesting indeed, all right. So Mega Lucario is back. That is good to know. Alright, but you know what? It looks like we have a giraffe and a half here. So you know what? Let's go after that. Seven moves. Let's just see what we can. So... Hmm. I'm gonna go with Gengar, I think. Let's do this. I don't know what exactly to expect, so I'm not gonna use any power-ups or whatever here. See what we can do. Seven moves. And, alright. Let's just do that. That did not work out too well for us, I guess, but... Hmm. Great! Just, just great. Alright. All right, what do you want me to do? Okay, let's... That is not very good for us, to be honest. Get that swarm boost, which is nice, but... In the long run, probably not gonna help us too much. Yeah, so close, but let's just finish it off with Gengar. So with that, we're gonna have one move remaining, and we're gonna defeat the giraffe in a half. So, that's, that's something, I guess. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna catch this thing. It's probably gonna have a horrible catchability, my luck. 8%! 12% total catchability?! We're not catching a giraffe and a half here, I don't think. I'm fairly confident we're not catching that thing. No, it's gonna break out 24%. 24%. That's... that's... I mean... not... Very good for us. Now, is it? I could go for a Great Ball. Now, I did find out that there is a way to actually. Well. Well, with the Great Balls, apparently there's. I don't think I called it a glitch, I think I called it an oversight, but according to Carlos Pereza. Pereza. Pereza, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. You can actually go for a Great Ball. And if you go for a Great Ball, and you close out before it saves, you'll get your money back for the Great Ball. Do you consider it cheating? I don't know. But you know what? What the heck? There's nothing really to lose here. Let's just do that. So let's just go for the Great Ball. We are gonna miss. I wanna go for another Great Ball, because I wanna catch this thing. So, come on, Giraffe Rig. Stay in the Great Ball, please. You're gonna break out. What the heck? What the heck? Come on, Giraffe Rig, you know you want to stay in there. No, you're gonna break out. So let's actually, I'm not gonna save all those coins. Well, I want to get back those coins because it's just saving my time later. Consider it an easier way of farming coins. I don't know. That said, let's actually uh, see if this actually works for, this actually works. And it, it does work. Good to know. So I apologize to anyone who gets upset about me doing that. If it's like not right or whatever, I'm sorry. But 
clearly this didn't work out so well for us, but let's try it again. Let's just try it again. Seven moves and... okay. Um, I think the Mega Evolution would probably be good to do. I'm gonna go for Eval Pal, I think. I really have to get that Mega Evolution off, don't I? I'm never gonna get the Mega Evolution off, though, I don't think. Huh. I think I just screwed us over. So I think we'll be lucky to actually finish, um, better than we did last time this time, to be honest. Huh. Well, at least we're trying. Can't fault us in... Can't fault us for trying. Or a lack thereof. So we're gonna finish it off exactly as we did last time, with one move remaining. So we're gonna have a 12% catch ability, which is... I mean, it is what it is! What are you gonna do? I don't know... So... 12%. Come on, Giraffe Rig, you know you want to be caught. Or you don't. Well... There's really no harm in going for the Great Ball, to be honest. I'll go for two Great Balls and that's it. And then we try again. Come on, Giraffe Rig. Please? Fine, you're gonna go run. Fair enough. So we're gonna get back those coins from the Great Balls because, to be honest, I mean, it's 5,000 coins. 5,000 coins. Too bad I couldn't think to do this against Regirock. That would have been kind of nice. But let's just deal with what we have now, and that is Girafferic. So, let's just do this. I am going to actually Mega Start. So, let's just hope this goes better. And here's to everything going better. I'm using Ban at this time. Because, why not? And we still didn't manage to finish it off. Alright, we're gonna finish it with four moves remaining. Better than we did before. We should be able to at least bring the catch ability up to like... 20%, so like 40 with the Great Ball. Which is... I mean, it's better than what we had before. So we're gonna have a 40% chance with the Great Ball. We're not gonna catch it in the Pokeball. I can pretty much assure you that. As I said, so... We get- we, we do have- it's a coin toss. It is a- it's a, it's a slightly less than, 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 um, optimal coin toss. But still a coin toss, and I'm gonna go for a Great Ball here. If this Great Ball misses, then this game is, in fact, working against us. Because this should catch it, in theory. So with that, we are gonna catch a Giraffe in half. It's gonna cost us a few coins, but with that, we're gonna get 200 back, so that's something. So that's- that's always, uh, always something. So, once again, thank you to Carlos Peraza for pointing out that you can, in fact, do that for coins back in the Great Ball. Well, with the Great Ball. Now, with Lucario, Mega Lucario is, in fact, back. So if you, well, want Mega Lucario and didn't get it before, if you're in the top 30,000, you get Mega Lucario's, well, Lucario Knight. Um... So if you have one already in place, you'll receive two jewels. If you don't place, you'll receive a jewel instead. Alright, you know what? What's the harm in actually doing this? Now this time it says that it's measuring not the, uh... It's measuring how many, uh, how many points you get based on moves, not time. 
So that's actually a really interesting spin they put on this. So I'm actually going to try this. So showing full potential, you get 20 moves instead of a set amount of time. So that's actually pretty cool. That really is kind of cool. So, why am I using Chimeco? I really don't know why I did that. Hmm. That was not a good move I mean, just made, I don't think. Whatever. What are you gonna do? Alright, well. Okay, well, let's. Actually, get rid of those Rayolu while they're in the way. See if we can get a Mega Evolution off. That would be relatively convenient, I think. Evolution would be kind of nice, I think, around now. Hmm. Well, I'm not taking this too seriously. Two jewels would be really nice, but I'm not going to lose my head over it. I'm also not going to get too competitive over those who uh, don't have the Mega Stone, because you know what? I might end up accidentally knocking out someone who would otherwise get the Mega Stone, and if I do, I apologize. Because that would be unfortunate. We're gonna activate Perky Plus, which is kinda nice, I suppose. But getting that Mega Evolution off would be optimal here. So. We're gonna get the Mega Slowbro off. That'll make things a little bit better, I think, in the long run. So. Let's go for the slow bro here. That works. Okay. So now let's go for Xerneas. We're not going to get that quirky plus activated right there, but you win some, you lose some. What can you do? So, let's go for... I don't really want to go for... We're going to activate the Quirky Plus right there again, which is kind of nice. So, what is the best move here? I think I want to go for... Xerneas doesn't have an option. Mewtwo is probably your... Actually, we can go for Xerneas, but... Is that really what we want to do? Hmm. I feel like Mewtwo is probably the way to go. Go for the slow bro there. Okay. Now I think it is about time to go for Mewtwo. Xerneas, do you want to let off the uh, the quirky plus here or not? So we're not quite going to get 10,000 points for our score, but we are going to get 9,434, which is, is okay, I guess. It's S rank, so hey, you know what, it's something. Definitely something, considering we didn't use any power-ups or whatever. I'm just wondering if we placed or anything. Now, we only have to be in the top, like, 30,000, I think, to place, so, I mean, that's definitely uh, something. We are in the top 4,000. So you know what, that actually isn't bad. I think it's interesting, though, that a lot of people actually use Mega Mewtwo Y rather than Mega Slowbro, it looks like. Which is a lot different than the last time I took on this round. Because a lot of people did have Mewtwo, they just, which in order to get Mewtwo, you have to have the Mewtwo, well, the, um, the Mewtwo Knight Y anyway. So it's really interesting. A lot of people started using Mega Mewtwo instead of the Mega Slowbro for this uh, second coming of this competition. Really 
really interesting to, um, to me at least. That said, I think it's Shellgon time. So, what do we want to do for Shellgon? Because I, I, I get the feeling that it's going to have a pretty bad catchability either way. Might have a good one. Who really knows? You only get three Pokemon. Glalie is probably our best option. I mean, I think Lucario would actually be stronger, just it's not super effective. I mean, super effective hits aren't everything here, but... We're better off, I think, with Articuno than Dragonite, even though Articuno is weaker, technically. Besides, I like Articuno. So, let's do this. Let's actually go with the Mega Start, because... Because why not? Here we go. So with that, we, were, we did trigger the Articuno's um, power of four, which is kind of nice. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring Articuno. And we're just not breaking those shell gun things. That's unfortunate. Those frozen shell gun just are getting in our way, I guess. What are you gonna do? I think Articuna does more in fours and does in fives because of that power of four. So actually, that is a real thing to consider, I think. Rookie Plus is gonna work to our advantage, of course. It'd be nice if we could get that quirky plus more often, but what are you going to do? Well... Alright, well, you know what? I guess just, just, just do what we can. Um... Might as well break that thing. I don't know. Alright, so now I think let's, let's do that and maybe we can finish it off now with three moves remaining. There we go. But only three moves remaining. So. I get a bad feeling we're probably going to be catching this thing in... I don't know. Catchability is going to be... I'm guessing 15%. And it is 16%! I was so close! Wow! I'm disappointed I was so close, but I was close. 16%, 32%, you know what, I'm going for the Great Ball. I will just back out if we don't catch us in a Great Ball, because there's no reason to waste our coins on a Great Ball that's not going to work. Screw it! I'm going to catch this thing! Come on, Shellgon, you want to be caught, don't you? Please, you know you want to be caught. Really? Last Great Ball! You don't- if this doesn't catch you, I am done. I am done if this doesn't catch you. I called it. I am done. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that at all. Nope. This is this is not the way I'm doing this. I'm not using all my coins up on catching a Shellgon that I didn't even S rank. And if I used if I used 15 out of the 18 moves, I definitely didn't S rank that thing. So that is going to be our last game for today. Now I get that's probably a little bit cheap what I did, and I literally mean cheap, but. 
it should save us some coins, I guess, in the long run. Did use a lot of coins up on getting, well, our giraffe and a half here. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, what are you going to do? We were entered into the uh, Mega Lucario competition thing, so that's always something. And I guess we still have a ways to go with Pedra Valley. So we really didn't accomplish anything there today, but who knows. Maybe whatever tomorrow's daily Pokemon will be will be easier for us. Who really knows for sure? But whatever. Also, we still do have Genesect just sitting there waiting for us to, well, challenge it. I don't know. And of course, we're going to have to eventually go back and S rank up, well, Mega Aerodactyl, Timber, uh, Gramble, and Catch Quilladin, Catch Duosion, and once again try to go after Shellgon again. Funny thing is, we actually did defeat it. Just didn't catch it, so we can't move on quite yet to whatever comes next. My guess is, since it went Frogadier, something else, well, it in something else next, is probably gonna be Brakeson. I could be wrong. That said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for being all cheap with coins today, but I'm getting tired of grinding against the Meowth level stage 37. Because, if you notice, I get all these coins, but the way I get them is from this stage right here. This is how I get them. I go after this Meowth, and try not to win until the last move and try to get 530 coins if I can. Sometimes I get 300, and um, if I don't think I can do that, I'll just go for the 130. It depends! So, at least this way, there's a few less Meowth rounds I have to go through in order to get back up the coins, so we don't run out of coins in the foreseeable future. As in, right now. But at least we do have that giraffe and a half, so that at least has to count for something, right? So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time when we continue going through the Pedra Valley and tomorrow's daily Pokemon challenge. Goodbye!